Okay, welcome back guys. Uh, right now I am sitting here in front of my Puppy Linux install and I am going to try to figure out how to install this to my hard drive. So from what I've been able to understand so far is that once you're at the uh, desktop uh, and I am booted off the USB by the way um, the instructions say to click install and then click on universal installer then you want to install to an internal drive internal hard drive so we will click on that now it's asking me where I want to install to and I want to install to SDB2 so we're going to see if we can find SDB and we're going to install puppy to SDB2. You see this on the right? So I'm going to click that. Press OK to install puppy. Okay. And let's see. Where are the puppy files? Puppy is expecting the live CD to be inserted into, which is described as, and that would be this sand disk. SDD. Now that's where it is. SDD1. So let's make sure we are mounted. Okay, so there we are. So uh, I guess it's helpful if we mount the drive, which I just did. So now I'm going to click install, full install, internal, and it's going to ask what, where do I want to install SDB, SDB2, okay. You have chosen to install to SDB2, which appears to be an internal hard drive. Frugal is recommended full, requiring usage of the entire petition. Okay, so. Okay, so we can we can install as a frugal, which is recommended, or we can do a full frugal option if installed to a fat. There is an extra boot option. Okay, click frugal for coexist. Click full for conventional. Um, the frugal leaves the previous contents of the petition untouched now nah, I'm gonna I'm, I was intending to uh, format that anyway so we're gonna go with a full install okay SDB2 okay and we're gonna go through the install and then hopefully everything goes okay copying puppy files to SDB2. And so the key here is to click on install, but make sure you mount your USB drive so that it knows where to copy from. You now have the option to install a bootloader. I don't need a bootloader because I, are, I already have a bootloader on another petition on that drive. So I'm not going to install a bootloader. Would you like to install Grub? No. Okay. 
If all went well, Puppy has been installed to SDB2. Okay, and I'm going to, basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna boot up into my normal uh, grub. I'm gonna run uh, OS Prober and then I'm gonna do a update grub and that should show uh, Puppy Linux available and I will boot into it. So let's, I guess all we need to do now is to reboot. So Puppy looks pretty cool. So I'm gonna close this out. I'm gonna close this out. Now the only thing is I need to copy Uh, there's SDB1 I'm going to home LAN desktop and I am going to copy this video to my SDB1 desktop so if I go into file my well I'm going to stop the video but if I go into my documents, you can see this video is the one that's that I'm making right now. So I'm going to copy those into my uh, Linux Lite desktop, and I'll have access to those to be able to post them up on YouTube. So guys, I will uh, resume this video once I'm booted into my hard drive version of Puppy Linux. Bear with me. Be right back. Okay guys, so here I am booted to my hard drive and uh, no problems at all. I booted to my normal grub. Um, Linux Lite happens to be the controlling distribution on this particular drive and so I booted into Linux Lite, ran OS Prober, ran update grub, uh, it identified SDB2 as a Linux distribution. Once that was done, I rebooted, selected SDB2, and booted into my puppy Linux, where I was greeted with the quick setup screen. So I've got to go through now and make sure that I've got everything set up the way I want it. Um, i got to change the Los Angeles to America, New York. And I've got to use uh, UTC, uh, set time and date from the internet, host name is fine, uh, and I it's right now it's using the Nouveau driver. I'm going to leave that alone until I find out how to uh, switch over to the NVIDIA, but right now the Nouveau is fine for the purposes uh, purposes of this video um, so I'm gonna leave that I'm not gonna run internet apps as spot uh, basically spot is a um, user with limited um, limited uh, rights within this installation so root has control and spot is a just a user with limited uh, limited uh, permissions so I'm going to leave everything alone uh, I'll run my internet apps as root so I can save my files wherever I want and so uh, I let's see I believe I have internet connected Uh, and uh, that may not be the case so what I'll do is I'm going to click OK and we will check the time everything looks OK OK so I want to get out of that uh, my internet connection you are connected to the internet if I want to upgrade my video driver I can click on setup uh, let's see what I'm going to do I've got uh, everything set up okay over here for startup uh, this is startup apps 
I'm going to leave that alone. Uh, sound. Let's test it. Testing works. I can change the screen resolution. I'm going to leave it alone. Xorg Wizard can help me uh, find my NVIDIA card, but I'm not going to go through that right now. Accelerated graphics. Okay, it's not offering any upgrades. My internet. Okay, um, wired or wireless. So I have my, let's see. Simple network. Okay, sophisticated simple network. Okay, and these and Puppy has identified these network. Uh, so I'm gonna click on that one. See if I connect. It says I'm connected, but I'm doesn't look like I am. So Ethernet. Successful connection to wired network. Successful, do you want to save this? Yes. And I am done. Okay, set, set as default. Okay. Okay. Let's check a browser. Uh, internet. And we have Pale Moon. No. Okay, so let's see if we can search for something. And it looks like I am connected to the internet. Browser is no longer supported. No, thanks. Okay, so I am uh, Chick -car. On, the, on the internet. I've got this sound. Is a gay car. Everything's working this fine. Is a short man's car. Okay, this we're going to close gay. that out. Uh, I don't need that anymore. I've got my internet. I'll configure my printer another time. So we're going to quit there. There is my active eth uh, Ethernet connection, ETHO0. Uh, let's see. Firewall off. Right click for menu. Choose which connections to allow. And let's see if I can turn this on. Starting firewall. Okay, firewall firewall turns green. I've got a clipboard manager. I have looks like a CPU monitor. There's my uh, simple screen recorder. So that's as easy as that is. Uh, so if if you guys were thinking about trying Poppy Linux. Uh, it's pretty easy. Um, you, uh, what I would do is if, if you uh, are going to download uh, Puppy Linux, let me show you how I did it. And let's go back to Pale Moon. And let's do a search for Puppy Linux. Download. Okay, so if you click on Puppy Linux, download latest release. I didn't do Slacko. I got Tarpup. Uh, and 
I went into this mirror and if you go into NLUUG and go down the bottom my recommendation would be that you either take the 605 ISO or the 605 PAE ISO. Now you can do no PAE, it's, a, it's up to you, um, but I went with the 605 ISO. It's a small download. Then I used UNET Booten to create my USB drive boot up into, into your USB drive as if you were doing a Linux install. Then uh, it's going to load the entire distribution, all 200 and some odd megabytes. It's going to load it into your RAM. And that's the beauty of Puppy. You could run this without copying anything to your hard drive. But um, I wanted to go through that process uh, to show you guys how to do it, which is what, which is why I did the install to hard drive. But once you create your uh, USB and UNet booten, then you can um, boot into that USB and then make sure you go up and click mount to mount that USB so it knows where the files are that it's going to copy. Then once your USB is mounted, because keep in mind when you first load up that USB it's copying the operating system into your RAM. It doesn't need the USB any longer. So what you need to do is you need to mount it to make sure it can be seen. Once you mount it then click on install and then you're going to click on the full install then you're going to click on internal hard drive then you're going to select your drive then you'll select your petition so it's as simple as that guys if you have any questions I'm going to leave this on my petition for the next uh, few days because it's a lot of fun to play around with it's something new that I don't know really much at all about Puppy Linux but uh, I'm going to learn about it over the next few days. So, uh, guys, I hope you uh, enjoyed this little excursion into Puppy Linux. And um, the reason I don't have my camera on is because I uh, tried to install GUVC View, and I do have it installed. As you can see, let's see, where is it? Well, hmm thought I had that installed but needless to say it would not function because it did it could not recognize the uh, it could not recognize the camera now it's not for some reason it's not showing up so I'm gonna go through that let's go into the uh, package manager puppy package manager I'll close out my browser and if I search on GUVC view it tells me that 1.71 is available that's from Ubuntu trusty universe Let's see if I can pick up a later version on another. Now it looks like pretty much everything is the 1.71, which I don't believe is the latest version at all. But I'm going to select it and I'm going to auto install and click on do it. So now it's going through the installation process. It's copying it to my hard drive. And we will see, as soon as it's done installing, I will test it out. It's taking a little while to install. It is copying directly to my hard drive, just as it would in any other type of Linux 
uh, install. So here it says success. It installed pretty much everything that I needed. I will click OK. I'm going to get out of this package manager and go to multimedia. There is GUVC view, but unable to open device. Make sure the camera is connected and that the correct driver is installed. So evidently, I need some type of driver, and that's the um, that's typical what what you're going to get with Puppy Linux. It 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 it's not as easy. Everything is not as easily configured out of the box. You have to work a little bit at it, and so that means a little bit of research and uh, trying to find out how exactly I go about locating the driver and installing it, which I will attempt to do over the next few days. So guys, that is the uh, end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you soon. Take care.